Welcome to the workshop. We're going to state a unit set for a lab. And what does this mean is essentially that we want to try to use the typical convenient units for lab. So for example, we have kilograms per second. We might change it for grams per minute. If we have, I don't know, maybe cubic meters, you will want to change it maybe to milliliters. You have pressure as megapascals, for example, you will want to report this as millimeters of mercury, and so on. So let's check it out. First step is open a new simulation. Go to the simulation, sorry, the physical property environment. Go to this setup folder. Then we have the unit set right here. Click here, and as you can see, it will open all the existing unit sets. You can change them whenever you want. Now we click on new. Let's make this the lab lab set. You can choose whatever name you want. You can start by copying any similar or pre-existing oops pre-existing material. So I would say SI units will be a good start. Temperature temperature remains the same. Mass flow I would like to have grams grams per minute, mole flow maybe millimoles if, if possible, if not, let's say mole per hour, actually yeah we have it here, nanomole, I'll choose mole per hour, volume flow rate, let's check, we have milliliter, Let's use liter per hour. Flow rate, once again, grams per, let's say, minute once again. Flow rate versus mass flow. Flux, let it be the same one. Flux, the same. Pressure, let's change that to millimeter. This is using vacuum. And this is using normal. What else do we have? Maybe you want to use tor. I'm going to use millimeters of mercury. Delta pressure will be that as well, millimeters of mercury. This is drop on pressure per height. Let's use millimeters of mercury per meter. The head can be stated as meters. Inverse pressure, yeah, you can change that to the inverse of millimeters of mercury. And this is already safe. As you can see, we change and go back. We can still change all these configurations because these are user set. These, in the other hand, are not user set. So you can still change heat, transport, concentration. If you're going to be using maybe heat transfer units, maybe you want to check watts per kilojoules per hour meter and so on. But I just wanted to show you that you can change this whenever you want. You run the simulation and all the reports will be calculated using these lab set units. Okay? Always ensure that you have the unit set and then click run. 